I can see why so many people sell car spares repairs. Basically what that is... Why is there a seagull in there? The car's holy. And welcome back to another Nissan 100NX video. Nissan is obviously here, it's going nowhere in the near future. So we're here today to talk about the MOT results. So I stuck to my promise. As soon as I picked this car up, I dropped it down to where I work at a Nissan dealership. I chucked it straight in for the next available MOT slot. And the car went in for its MOT and it failed. I shouldn't have been quietly confident after all. It was a big fat fail for this car obviously i'm not surprised because it's been sat for a couple of years but i was i don't know why very i was a little bit confident it might for some reason surprise me and go for it as mot silly thinking wishful thinking it failed let's get my phone out <laughs> let's check the mot and we'll go through what it failed on and again it's when you break it all down it's not actually that bad not really that expensive so i'm going to sit in the car it's cold and let's talk about the mot failures so yeah the car failed its mot and here i've obviously gone on to the government website and i'm just going over what it failed on so dangerous defects do not drive until repaired i guess this is what it's failed on offside rear suspension component mounting prescribed area is corroded to the extent that control of the vehicle is likely to be adversely affected and that was the same for the near side rear suspension component area again basically what that is why is there a seagull in now? So basically to put that into normal language, I have got holes where the spring sort of goes up into the little tunnel. There's like a hole either side of the car. So it needs welding. The car's holy. It has had welding done to the car before and when the car was on a ramp at work, I did have a look. It's sort of a bit of a bodge job. It's not great underneath. Also, major defects repair immediately. Brake fluid contaminated. The brake fluid is absolutely black. Offside front obligatory mirror. So basically the mirror is cracked and it's loose, which fair enough, I can't see out of it anyway, because it is cracked. Near side rear seat belt anchorage prescribed area strength. Basically there's another hole. Offside rear service brake excessively fluctuating and imbalance in the brake, something like that. Emissions um, exceed manufacturer's specified limit. Now I thought that would be an MOT advisory because it has got a misfire and obviously that has come up because of the misfire. A tyre has been advised for a slightly damaged or cracking, but not too worried about that. And the front disc, brake disc, warm pit is scored, not seriously weakened. And again, exhaust emits blue smoke during acceleration, probably from lack of use, probably because it's burning more fuel because of the misfire the car has. So when you break that down, basically all I'm reading here is it needs welding, which my dad can do. Brake fluid contaminated, it basically needs a good service from lack of use. Misfire could be down to it needing a service and or lack of use needs to be driven. I had a misfire on my Hyundai Pony, a simple service, fix that. This car hasn't been driven, the emissions are probably all over the place. Misfire obviously is probably because it hasn't been driven needs a service. So service items, I've been quoted already and I'm getting a discount. We've got a little sponsorship going to be happening. Someone's um, giving me a good price on some service bits. So that's to come in another video when we start working on this car. It needs welding, it needs to service. Brakes, maybe once the brake fluid has been changed, the brakes might sort themselves out. If not, rear brake discs, rear pads are not really expensive. Was phoning up trying to get some quotes for the welding because I thought I didn't want to burden my dad like I've done in the past and people were charging 50, 60 quid an hour. It's, yeah, the, the, I can see why so many people sell car spares repairs as soon as that word corrosion rust comes up but I've had a word with my dad and I said to him look if I pay you some something called money will you you know do the work for me and he's agreed to. So we're going to start with a service and we're going to do the said welding. I am going to because I think the holes if I take the back seat out I think I might be able to see the holes from the inside of the car my dad can maybe weld it from the inside if not he can get it up on his super duper hydraulic ramp and weld from the underneath but I will be trying to mm, yeah, hopefully it isn't too difficult. I will be trying to prepare the car for my dad to make his life a bit more easier. I would like to actually try and service the car myself, maybe with my dad's surveillance. That would be quite cool. So service items are currently on order. More of that to come. And there's plenty more, obviously, videos of this little Nissan to come. Now, technically, because this car is rusty, it's holy, 
holy that's holy water it's holy this is you could say a write-off it's gonna what the car is valued at currently or what i paid for it the parts that i'm gonna need and the work the labor you're getting the labor work done by a garage where it's obviously costing you money that is more than what i paid for the car so in black and white i should be scrapping this car it's not worth me fixing it because i know it's rare because i know when it's done up it might be what what it's going to be worth more than what i paid for it i am willing to take that gamble take that risk and i'm willing to put money into this car because i know it's worth it i know it's rare and i know i want this car technically this vehicle in black and white is a scrapper because it's going to cost me more to fix it than the car's actually worth and people are pulling my leg at work you know you should be scrapping it and i thought you know what, keep the hate coming because it's actually really motivated me to do what i'm going to do with this car and put money into it regardless so it's not getting scrapped although technically in black and white it's a scrapper because it's holy and it needs a lot of well a fair bit of money spending on it and time and effort and love and work but that's something i'm going to do she's obviously in my ownership she's going to be saved from the crusher the scrap heap that is the mo2 results it's a big fat f a big fail but it doesn't scare us here it doesn't scare me at all i'm still going to go ahead put money into this car save it get it back on the road hopefully in a couple of months time or so that was the mo2 results for you guys let me know your thoughts on the failures in the comments below and i'll see you in another 100 nx video see you later bye